Hey Bob, WB here and welcome to Do The Woo, the WooCommerce and WordPress Builder Podcast. A continued shout out to our pod friends, Hostinger, Avalara, A2 Hosting and GoDaddy, and our community friends, WeGlot and Jetpack, and of course, our special friend, WooCommerce. As you're going to find them all, whether sponsoring or attending, they'll be at WordCamp Europe 2023. I'm following up on Tuesday where we have more speakers from WordCamp Europe to share their knowledge with you. So let's get right into it. Hi, I'm David Artis with WordPress VIP, the content platform for large enterprise businesses. When you're developing a plugin for WordPress, It's easy to fall into the trap of doing something that frustrates or just puts off users. This is particularly the case when you're building a business with it and need to promote your commercial products. For example, when someone deactivates your plugin, it's quick and easy to add a survey that pops up when they do so, prompting them for their reason. But from my own research, it's really not appreciated. People often deactivate a plugin when debugging an issue, or even if they are doing it before fully uninstalling it, it's not a great idea to bug the person who's already maybe not happy with the product. Is that really a bear that you want to prod at that point? To quote a user, It's just an intrusion on my time. I'm trying to get something done, but instead now I have to be distracted by this list of options and choose the one that gets rid of it without sharing any of my details. During my WordCamp talk, I'll be discussing a number of things which like this, frustrate users and developers alike. And simply put, developers should try and avoid. And as a spoiler for those listening now, there'll not be 10, but 17 subjects discussed from banner ads to loading unnecessary content. I hope you'll join me at my session, 10 things all WordPress plugin developers should avoid, which is aimed at all abilities and from users to professional developers. I'll hopefully see you in Athens. Hi, I'm Giulia Lacco, a web designer and developer from Italy. Excited to attend WordCamp Europe for the first time in person in Athens this year. A few words about me. I'm from the old school. I've been working on websites since the mid-90s. So I think I saw quite an evolution in the web medium. I experienced the design for different screen resolutions, proportions, and later on with smartphones, I was orientations. But one thing always struck my attention, and that was how to set the text on websites to be easily readable. As web designers and marketers as well, we soon realized that the user's attention on the web was hard to obtain and even more difficult to hold On the other hand, screen devices and browser rendering technology were less precise and performant than nowadays. It's surely very far from what you could do on paper with desktop publishing applications. But as devices are getting better now, so we are getting able to build better websites, making use of new typographic possibilities supported by the technology. Setting types on the web is key to obtain readability and engagement on your sites. But first, you'll have to make the site accessible. That's why during the workshop, we will start with the Web Content Accessibility Guideline, the BUCAGs, in particular where they deal with the text. Then we go through the analysis of different font characteristics with respect to legibility. And then we'll see the several factors affecting reading And through some examples with CSS and Figma, and even with static and all variable fonts, the emergent technology, we will see how those factors and properties are correlated. So, if you care about readability on websites, I hope you join me at my session that's called Typographic Readability in Theme Design and Development. It will be quite interactive, and intended for either designers or developers. In fact, you'll be able to attend the workshop in three different modalities. If you are more on the development side, you will dig into the CSS code, 
or if you feel more like a designer, you'll be able to attend using Figma. And even if you are a no-coder with no notebook with you, you'll be able to use only a browser in your phone, move some sliders and adjust text, and still experiment the concepts. So I hope you see you there. It will be fun. Hello, I'm Ant Miller from Crowd Favorite. We're an enterprise-focused agency developing WordPress and open source technologies. I will be out in Athens for WordCamp Europe 2023 with a few of my colleagues, and I will be on stage on Saturday. I'm in track two, and my talk is at 3 p.m. It's actually the last slot on the Saturday track two. My talk is called The Fidelity Gap, How to Embrace the Unknown and Succeed in Development Projects. Now, the Fidelity Gap is a concept that I've come up with over 20 plus years of working at the interface of agencies and clients. And I've been on both sides of that relationship. It's quite broad ranging. I'm not going to give you an overview of the whole thing right now. Bob suggested we focus in on one particular aspect. So I'm going to share this. At the core of many of these relationships are interpersonal relationships. And there is a technique I'm very interested in, which is called practical empathy. It's been promoted by someone called Indy Young, an American designer, and initially it was developed in the realm of developing and designing user interfaces. But actually, there's another really good application, and that's in building up really good, powerful, sustainable, resilient relationships between key stakeholders in projects, so on the client and the agency side. My talk includes a little bit of audience participation, please don't let that put you off. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've learned a lot from Practical Empathy. I think you might be able to learn something too. And certainly I expect to learn something from the audience. The best talks at WordCamp Europe, and I'm not saying mine's going to be the best, but hopefully it's going to be a good one. The best talks, well, the speaker gets to learn a lot as well. So I'm really looking forward to learning from the conversation we get into, from exploring all these sorts of relationships, these models that I'm sharing for how to think about them. And yeah, I'm going to learn so much because there's so much other great talks going on as well all over the few days we're out there in Athens. I look forward to seeing you there. And yeah, drop me a line beforehand if you want to catch up and know more, but maybe just come along to my talk. See you there. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Kathy Bosco, Senior UX Research Manager with Pantheon, an open source web ops platform for teams. Now, we all know if it's not secure, performant, and accessible, it's not usable. Great UX makes complex things easy to use. How do we get there? Through research. We all do it. Maybe not as skillfully as possible, but essentially research is critical thinking. UX design and research is more than visual design. And when it's done right, we can dramatically improve all business success metrics as well. According to a study done by Forrester, companies that invest in UX see a lower cost of customer acquisition, lower support costs, increased customer retention, and increased market share. When compared with their peers, the top 10 companies leading in customer experience outperformed the S&P index with close to triple the returns. Forrester Research shows us that on average, every dollar invested in UX brings $100 in return. That's a return on investment of 9,900%. To improve customer experience, Start by observing users as they interact with your product. In my talk at WordCamp Europe 2023, 15 Ways User Experience Impacts Business Success, we will review examples of common business goals that great UX teams can positively impact. I hope to unlock an opportunity for all of us to be intellectually and emotionally honest with ourselves about the value and quality of the solutions we deliver to our customers and to their end users as well. We can measure the success and quality of experience through the lens of pleasure, flow, and meaning. Teams that expose their work through research communicate better with customers. They increase revenue, reduce churn, lighten the load on support, improve cross-team performance, and easily report outcomes to impress stakeholders and investors and more. Solving problems with evidence-based techniques will ensure that your products are desirable and clearly usable. 
This is why we solve all critical customer problems in a user-centric and evidence-based manner. Hope you can join the conversation. Naturally, as a design researcher, I'll have a four-question WordPress survey for everyone to participate in as well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Thomas. And I'm Niels, and we built WooCommerce Blocks. Imagine you've ordered something online, and you know you might not be at home when the shipment arrives. Wouldn't it be great to give the delivery company alternative options, such as, please leave the package with my neighbor? By default, WooCommerce Box doesn't provide such an option, but wouldn't it be great to have that? As part of the team that maintains the card and checkout blocks, we know how to extend these blocks. During our workshop, we love to share our knowledge with you and create such an extension. In case you're wondering, our workshop is called Build a Not-at-Home Shipping Extension in the WooCommerce Checkout Block. We can't wait to see you at our workshop in Athens. Thank you, and see you soon. Hello, everyone. I'm Patricia from Geneva in Switzerland. I'm honored to be a guest on the panel contributing to WordPress without knowing how to code at WordCamp Europe 2023. It will be a very valuable panel, as there is sometimes this misconception for people new to the WordPress world that you need to be a developer or to code in order to contribute. But there are so many ways to contribute to the project without coding. You could, for example, do translation, documentation, user testing, marketing, etc., I chose to contribute to the community team by organizing events. On the panel, I hope to share how valuable it has been for me to organize WordPress events, what I learned in the process, some blockages we face, and how we solved them. And of course, the feeling to give back to WordPress and to the project as a thank for all WordPress allows me to do with my personal website or my business site called interaction.site. I hope you will come to hear what we all have to say in this panel, and we are very much looking forward to see you there. Bye. Hello there. I'm Torbjörn Fjellner, or simply Tobi, one of the global mentors for the Polyglots team, which translates WordPress into some 70 different language versions. I am a polyglot myself, I'm Swedish, fluent in English and Russian, and know some Spanish. I actually live in Spain right now. If you're a plugin or theme developer, then I strongly recommend that you open it for community translations so that the users of your code can contribute with good translations to languages you barely know. With our translations repository enabled, you get access to basic quality assurance, Updated language packs are automatically distributed to sites that need them, and you don't need to do any commits or releases for this to work. If you get stuck in setting this up, don't hesitate to ask for help in our Slack channel, Polyglots. Since we are a truly global team, there are almost always experienced people around that can give you a helping hand. In my talk, Enable Truly Global Use of Your Code, avoid the typical internationalization pitfalls, I'm going to walk through the most common linguistic peculiarities developers should keep in mind. Track 2, Saturday, June 10th at 11 local time, corresponding to 8 a.m. UTC. Welcome, in person or to the internet live stream. See you there. Hi, this is Chris Lubkert with Extendify. And I'm really excited to see you all at WordCamp EU. I will be speaking about raising capital for your WordPress business. And the tip I would have about raising capital is to think about it, not just about the funding and what you can do with the additional capital, whether it's investing in growth or investing in product to help support your business. But also, if you bring on board the right group of investors, it can also be a great group of advisors and supporters for your business as well. So in our case with Extendify, we are a solution for hosting providers to help them activate, retain, and grow their WordPress customers. And the investors that we have supporting our business are those that both have deep WordPress expertise, but also we have those that have 
a long history and experience in the hosting industry. And our ability to draw on both of those experience sets in order to identify opportunities for our business, get it support on ter- in terms of go to market and how we sell and promote our product has been invaluable to our success so far. And I expect we'll continue to draw on those experiences as well. So we'll be talking about raising capital. We'll first talk about whether or not it's the right decision for your business or not. And if so, share some tips and guidance for how to make sure that is successful. See you there. Hello, everyone. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey at WordCamp Europe 2023, where we unlock the true potential of WordPress together. I'm Petya, and I cannot wait to share a sneak peek of what's in store for my session WordPress Extended, building unique websites on top of WordPress. So in today's fast-paced digital world, it's not enough to settle for the ordinary. We want to create exceptional experience that captivate our users, leaving them in craving more. That's why my talk is all about pushing the boundaries of WordPress and tapping into the limitless possibilities of modern programming languages and front-end frameworks. Well, now, imagine having the power to weave a spellbinding user experience, seamlessly blending creativity, interactivity, and responsiveness. Now, picture your WordPress website transforming into a mesmerizing work of art, showcasing your brand's unique personality and captivating your audience from the very first interaction. Now, during our time together, I'll guide you through the exciting world of modern programming languages, such like JavaScript and TypeScript, as well as popular front-end frameworks such as React, Vue.js, and Angular. Together, we will uncover the secrets of crafting websites that are not just functional, but truly unforgettable. But let's not just talk about the technical details. I want you to walk away from my session feeling inspired and empowered. That's why I'll be sharing invaluable insights on optimizing websites' performance, enhancing speed, and creating a seamless user journey. You discover how to leave a lasting impression on your visitors, ensuring they'll come back for more and spread the world about your incredible online presence. So, get ready to unleash your creativity and elevate your WordPress websites to new heights. Join me at WordCamp Europe 2023, where like-minded individuals gather to share their passion and embrace the art of digital innovation. It's an event filled with excitement, inspiration, and the opportunity to connect with fellow WordPress enthusiasts who share the hunger for extraordinary experiences. Remember, you hold the power to create websites that defy expectations, leaving a lasting impact on your audience. Together, let's embark this accelerating journey at WordCamp Europe 2023. Reserve your spot today and get ready to witness the magic that happens when WordPress meets boundless creativity. I cannot wait to see you there ready to embrace the possibilities and craft an unforgettable experience. Join me at WordCamp Europe 2023 and let's rewrite the rules of WordPress together. See you soon. Did you know that a positive team culture can boost performance, foster innovation, and even lead to better financial performance? The question is, how do we measure and improve our team's experience? Hi, I'm James Giroux, and I'm the founder of Team WP. At Team WP, we're on a mission to transform the WordPress ecosystem by fostering open, people-first workplaces. We believe that the future of work, the future of WordPress, and really the future of our entire ecosystem is not just about our ability to create great products, but our ability to build and sustain great teams and great companies. To help us on this mission, we've developed the Team Experience Index. This is a tool designed to help teams measure and improve their overall experience based around the eight principles of the Open Team Framework. In my talk, The Future of Work is Open at this year's WordCamp Europe, I'll be diving into the results of the first ever Team Experience Index. We'll be exploring how the WordPress ecosystem is doing in these eight principles and what that means for our teams and our work. We'll be sharing some surprising insights about the state of team experiences in the WordPress ecosystem. You might be surprised to learn where we're excelling and where we have room to grow. But remember, knowledge without action is useless. So we'll also be discussing how we can turn these insights into actions. So join me as we explore how we can proactively invest in our teams and culture. Let's ensure that the future of work, the future of WordPress, and the future of our ecosystem and community is not just successful, but also open, inclusive, and people first. I look forward to seeing you there.
Well, that was fun having more WordCamp Europe 2023 speakers sharing their tips, their knowledge. And yes, do make sure to go to their sessions or at least find those sessions that interest you when you're at WordCamp, if you're going. Also, I want to thank all of them for taking the time out of their busy schedule to share with us, as I'm sure they are preparing not only their talk, but themselves for WordCamp Europe. And for anyone else out there that is going and preparing for the event, once you are there, please say hi to our friends who support Do The Woo, as I mentioned at the beginning, as well as you should say hi to everyone you bump into or see at WordCamp Europe. I'll have a couple of mics with me, so if you want to do a little five-minute Do The Woo show, we'll find something fun to talk about. Just look out for me. I'll be wandering around, mostly in the hallway chats. I'll be there if you want to do something. So if you are going, I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon in Athens. And until the next time, keep on doing the woo.